Growing up, my birthday was considered summer. I am a summer baby. My birthday was yesterday and I feel like on social media, like 99% of people have already got their home goods fall decor and like putting out the fall Halloween recipes. Even the hair companies are like not giving me the respect of like keeping my birthday a summer season. Like give me at least one more week of summer energy and vibes surrounding my birthday, but I guess not. Today I'm gonna be installing this beautiful, beautiful girl. She comes courtesy of Ashley mary hair and they included some halloween festive gifts in my bag i'm actually excited because how cute would this be this is actually a hair clip you see that and it looks like a little skeleton hand with the little gems how cute would that be like this or even on this side or just finding a cute way to like wear it and then with like a one piece cat suit like my black doc martin boots a red lip and then they gave me this fun little choker and it has the same gems on it so this choker with the cat suit with the doc martin boots and then like these cute little accessories i think that'll be fun for like a fright night with the kids or you know how we go to the pumpkin patch just to be a little fun and festive i guess i'm okay with you guys starting the halloween season that fall season off a little bit early because it gives me time to really really bring the kids into the spirit to just have fun and just come together and just you know enjoy life anyways i'm gonna show you guys how i installed this one so for this one we are doing a one product trick you guys know this is the goat to me I love her. This is my favorite, favorite mousse of all time. Of course, she's linked in the description box, but you guys have seen me try many, 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 many on this channel. And although I like the ones that I have been trying, all of these, just to name a few, this here, this right here is the goat in my favorite. So I was able to pull off this entire look and it's not even completely dry yet, but I was able to pull off this beautiful, fluffy, really nice, warm, cozy look with just this product. I used it on the hair. I used it to melt the lace as well as to style the baby hair. And yeah, you'll see how I got the whole look together. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, love bug, I feel like I never talk to you guys these days. So I'm going to do like a slight subtle talk through. The girls are in the tub. So bear with me. But I feel like I look really pretty today. So I'm going to go ahead and amp it up. I have on this two-piece set from Zara. It's like a linen taupe tan color. And it's kind of boxy. But I'm going to take the kids to the zoo soon. So this is going to be the look. It kind of almost looks like loungewear pajamas. But bear with me me anyways i received this package from ash and mary hair it is a heavy look at how heavy this bag is and the wig was in there so i'm like they sent me two wigs and no y'all it is full of goodies it's literally full to capacity so i'm super excited about that this one is a 13 by 4 hd lace she has 4c edges 24 inches in length and 250 percent density you can also get this as a closure and this is a texture shot of what she looks like from the back but this is what she looks like set as a center part. Then also, as I mentioned, this is 4C edges. So these are the, a close up rather, of like the 4C edges. They're going to be a vibe. Trust the process. So step one for me is going to be just to cut the excess lace off. You guys can see the wig itself overlaps um, my ear. So of course, you're going to go ahead and just do a custom cut. You can go ahead and separate the hairs. I can kind of look and kind of guide and eyeball it. And this is what it should look like. I'm going to do the opposite side and then we're going to bond her down. Today, of course, we're going to do a non-glue adhesive. It's got to be glued or bedhead. We'll see which one we decide. And then once we do that, we'll go ahead and step out the hairline and slay the hairline for the gods. Hey, Google, cool down bedroom. Okay, cooling down the bedroom. Keep it you know you're bad. Look at the way they hold they chat. Honestly amazing. I want you on occasion. I can do you favors that I know you won't do for you. Yeah, yeah. I know what you want. You got it gorgeous. You bet you're talking. It's talking me nice. Just ease it up on me. I'm fighting the feeling. I'm keeping it gorgeous. Yeah. I want you closer.
so it is almost time for the girls bed they just got out of the bath dakota's gonna do her reading to me so i'm gonna fast forward so you guys don't hear her but we went ahead and bonded it down and you guys can see how beautifully the hairline is so i'm going with the nairobi mousse you guys know this is my all-time favorite i'm gonna see how i like the nairobi because i haven't actually used nairobi in like maybe two or three months i've been trying different other products cody dakota let's go even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see what the next Okay, I am done with the ends let me try to get this in before my husband and the kids go crazy. It's bedtime. You guys know bedtime is typically madness. So I kind of wanted to show you the ends in the wet state. My husband made chili. So I'm about to get the kids in the bed and get their clothes off for tomorrow while this air dries. But before I do, let's go ahead and work on the hairline. These are what the edges look like when you kind of just like comb them out and pull them forward. They are edges obviously because they are significantly shorter than the rest of the hair. I don't necessarily want to thin them out. I just want to make them shorter. Let's see what it will look like if we just use mousse. Okay, when doing these type of fun baby hairs, Kind of step one is just to kind of mold them. You guys kind of see. I kind of oversaturated and did the mousse thing. I could go ahead and add my edge control. But let's go ahead and let these melt as well as like let the ends of the hair dry down while we go eat some dinner. And then once everything kind of sets and the hair starts to like dry and fluffing up, if that's a word, we will revisit the baby hair and kind of perfect it and then we will also uh, perfect the parting so that we can bring in a little bit of color into the lace but for now mama is hungry let me go eat and i'll be right back in the next clip okay so i just ate some chili with cornbread and i added a little bit of fresh cut white onion does anybody else do that i know my mom used to say my grandma used to do that when i was younger she was like i don't know how people do that and then when she got older she started to do it and I thought it was disgusting when my mom was to do it. Now I do it and I can't not. The hairline has had time to kind of set. And I'm just going to comb it out. Excuse that line from the milk belt. I'm keeping it on too long. Kind of comb it to kind of lift it and then trim it. And then you can leave it as is. I feel like it looks a little too, like curly and polished so I'm gonna just take a little bit of edge control and kind of just play with it because I'm going for a little bit more of a glam look I don't want it to be too curly and then you can see I'm pretty sure that when you add the edge control to your brush when you send some of the hairs back to like thin it out if you will it'll get thinner and the ones you thin out will definitely stick I did my nails today so they're not easy to maneuver and baby hair definitely can get tricky you can definitely take your time but again rather than Squeezing it out. This one is great because I don't have to. I can just send some of those hairs back. The edge control will make them, you know, stay back. And I think that looks good. For now, I think that's good. I'm always going to be able to go back in and play with it a little bit more. So right now, the Too Faced Concealer in the color Chai is warm enough that it, like, matches my complexion. And it's thick enough as a concealer to cover the knot. This one, I did not bleach the knots, but you definitely have the option to go in and do so. And so I kind of sometimes will apply it a little bit more on the heavier side. And because this is a concealer, it's going to easily blend out. I've been into the Maybelline Fit Me powder foundation for the hairline but this one for our movie kisses has just a little bit more coverage and again because we want to go in and make the knots look super natural i'm going to use this one instead okay so i think we are done with this look i'm so happy i was able to kind of like talk through so i can move back a little bit you guys can see how beautiful this one looks nairobi mousse you guys already know 
top 10, top 5, top 3, top 2 favorite mousse. Probably number 1 or 2. I need this like in a mini size because when I start traveling soon, this is, you know, this is a go-to that I should have. And so, also I did want to show you guys the packaging. This here is the bag. You guys know I'm so in love with this like turquoise. Uh, is it blue or green? I would say blue, but this turquoise color. And inside, again, it's very heavy in here. Let's do a little show and tell. So what's making it so heavy is I did include this beautiful robe. I already have one, so I'm not going to open it, but it does say Ashton Mary on it. And then they did also include, I thought this was going to be a bonnet, but it looks like it's a pillowcase. <gasps> Wow, I thought it was a pillow. I would have worn this. I didn't realize. Is it a nightgown? Oh my gosh, I love this. So it's like a, um, it looks like a nightie, but it opens up. So I'm pretty sure this is something that is really beautiful that you can wear like straight out of the shower. If you know me, you know I wear my robes to bed. I will get out of the shower and like instead of trying to find pajamas or sleeping panties, I will sleep in my robe and call it a day. So this is really nice. It says Ashton Mary. It matches the robe. It is like a slip nightgown, but it opens. I've never seen one like this. I'm sure it's hard for me to show you guys, but maybe in my next video with featuring them, I'll show it. They also did include... Oh my gosh, am I tripping? They included the wig caps, but they appear to be more brown. So are they finally coming out with better colors? You guys know the HD wig caps have been around since forever. And this is not from them, but I feel like they always are in this really light color, which are HD, which you still sometimes need to tint them. And this one isn't as brown as me, but it's close enough to where like we're starting to get the browner tone so that we don't have to add the foundation powder on top. So thank you for that because yeah, I was just saying that like two or three days ago. And if you thought we were done, we're definitely not. They definitely gave a baby hairbrush in the color purple. A melt belt. So you have like a cute little set. You have your robe, you have your nighty, and you have your melt belt, and then you have your wig that can be in the dust bag. All that matches and coordinates. A pair of pretty lashes. They also gave an eyebrow razor, which you guys know this is a great way to give your wigs a natural finish when you cut off your lace. And then last but most certainly not least, they got into the festive fall halloween vibes with these two little pieces this one here looks like it's a really pretty choker i'm actually gonna leave this out and wear this because i see my kids are starting to get older where they actually remember like last year they're starting to remember the things you know when they're little they don't know what's going on so i kind of focus on them but kind of like getting into the holiday vibes or some people don't consider Halloween a, Halloween a holiday but it's fun to just like decorate and dress up and then this here is a hair clip so I'm gonna wear the choker and then I'm gonna wear the hair clip how cute would this be anyways I'm getting too far ahead of myself I love the way this one came out the natural edges came out super good as well they complement the wig amazingly um without doing too much I love the length and fullness on this one definitely a 10 out of 10 and I have zero complaints if you are interested I'll have her linked in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches